Hey everybody, it's AJ from Disney Food Blog, and today we are talking about some hidden gems that really need to be on your list if you're planning a trip to Walt Disney World. So these spots are a little bit off the radar. They're either not very well known or they are literally hidden and it's hard to find them, but they're excellent and I really hope you can make time for them on your next trip. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start out with Trails End. Trails End is in Fort Wilderness. It's right next to Hoop Dee Doo Review, which is uh, the better known restaurant at Fort Wilderness. Trails End has buffets. It's a buffet breakfast, brunch, and dinner. And the food here is really excellent. We're talking very casual. Um, it's a moderately priced restaurant. Fried chicken, veggies, pasta, pizza, pork ribs, things like that. Um, the breakfast is excellent. They've got some seriously great like French toast, custard, bread pudding kind of thing. I mean, they've got some really good stuff, uh, hidden gem stuff on their menu specifically. Um, so this place is, again, not very well known. It's hard to get here because it is in Fort Wilderness. So you, we do recommend that you take a boat from Contemporary Resort, Wilderness Lodge, or Magic Kingdom to get over here. Sometimes it can be hard if you drive here or take a bus here, you'll have to take an internal bus system to get to the restaurant. Um, so it's a little hard to get here, but it's very, very much worth it. We do like Trails End. We've always liked it. And now Chef TJ is over there. If you guys know Chef TJ, he's one of the best chefs in Disney World. Everywhere he goes is kind of special while he's there. So we do, we do love this restaurant, especially right now. Okay, next we're going to talk about boat rights. I have loved boat rights ever since I went there for the very first time. This is located at Port Orleans Resort Riverside. Again, it's a little bit harder to get here because it's not um, an easy uh, commute from a park. You can take a boat here from Disney Springs, but otherwise you've got to take a bus. So um, it's not easy to get here, but it's worth it. They, they are at dinner only right now at Boat Rights, and I'm really hoping they keep this restaurant open long term uh, because it is, it is excellent. You definitely want to try the jambalaya here. You want to try the prime rib. It's so good. Pecan pie, shrimp and grits, lots of good stuff here. And plan to arrive a little bit early so you can go over to River Roost Lounge, which is next door. That's where Yeehaw Bob entertains a few nights a week. He's really, really fun, family friendly, piano player and comedian. And the menu over at River Roost is pretty good too. I would actually just plan a whole evening at, at Riverside, go to River Roost Lounge, go to Boat Rights for the Prime Rib, and then take a carriage ride as well. There's a lot of good and fun things to do at uh, Port Orleans Riverside, and we love it there. So check out Boat Rights. It's excellent. Next, I'm going to talk about the Chuck Wagon. Now, we do have a whole video about Chuck Wagon, a review. This is a relatively new food truck over at Fort Wilderness. Again, I explained kind of how to get to Fort Wilderness before, but the Chuck, the Chuck Wagon is set up right next to um, the campfire and movie space, which is completely free for anybody. You can go to the, the campfire and the movie at night, and Chip and Dale actually come by, and that's one of the only places you can, you can get you know, autographs, or, or a photo with characters that's completely free. You don't have to pay a, a penny to get there, which is really, really cool. But the Chuck Wagon has some yummy stuff. They've got great sandwiches. They've got a brisket sandwich that's good. They've got some burgers, a roasted portobello and vegetable wrap, lots of good food here. And what I love also is that retro feel, that RV and all of the retro stickers that they have from, um, from Walt Disney World Resort. Very cool spot, uh, definitely fun for photo ops, but good food as well. Another hidden gem is Sanaa. This restaurant um, continues to be very, very good, and it's a it's a great spot for vegans and vegetarians, but even if you're a meat lover, there's great stuff here as well. well Sanaa is located in Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's in Kidani Village, which is um, the Disney Vacation Club building for Animal Kingdom Lodge. The best thing about this spot is that you can see the animals on the savanna outside the windows. So if you get one of those coveted window tables, you can just sit there and watch the animals. It's a great place for little kids because they have so much fun spying the animals throughout the meal. The menu here is going to be African influence, Mediterranean influence. Um, the bread service is great. The soups are always really, really good. Um, try the tandoori chicken. And the, and the kids' items are actually pretty good as well. So this is one of my favorite places to go. You can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner here, although breakfast is considered a grab-and-go. 
And of course I'm gonna talk about Trader Sam's. This is one of those places that's literally hidden. You would walk right by it if you didn't know it was there. Um, it's a, it's sort of like almost a speakeasy entrance. It's just this plain door with a very small sign at the Polynesian Village Resort. But this is one of the most fun bars and lounges in all of Walt Disney World. It's highly imagineered, and by that I mean there are a lot of Disney touches in here. It's Jungle Cruise themed. Um, it's got ties to, of course, Trader Sam on the Jungle Cruise. Um, and if you spy, if you look around here, you're gonna spy a lot of props from old Disney rides, like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and things like that. Um, the drinks here are excellent, and it, depending on what drink you order, some fun little things might happen around the uh, the lounge. So you gotta make sure you keep your eyes peeled. If you get the Aoa, the Krakatoa, um, Hippopotami Tai, lots of cool things might happen depending on what you order. Um, and of course, the cast members here are wonderful as well. This one can have a line once in a while. If you go on, if you go on a Saturday night, you may have to wait to get in because it's very, very small, and they like to keep it um, uncrowded in there. So be prepared. And another place that's a hidden gem is Pineapple Lanai. This is also located in Poly uh, the Polynesian Village Resort. This is one of the only places where you can get a Dole Whip in a Disney um, in a Disney park or resort that's outside of an actual theme park. So Pineapple Lanai, you can get a Dole Whip, Dole Whip Float, and of course Dole Whip is, a, is pineapple soft serve and it's very, very popular in Disney parks. Um, you can also get that vanilla and pineapple uh, twist Dole Whip. So that's a fun a fun place to grab your Dole Whip if you don't have a park ticket or don't want to you know, spend the time to go into a park. Another hidden gem is the California Grill Lounge. Now everybody knows about California Grill up on the top floor of the Contemporary Resort, but there is a lounge there, which is first come first served. You don't need a reservation, but it has the same excellent view of the fireworks as California Grill does because it's literally right in the same location. So here you can order anything from the California Grill menu. You can get the drinks, you can get the, the food, um, but you can also see that great fireworks view. And it's a great sunset view, by the way, as well, if you don't get there for the fireworks. Um, and so this is a hidden gem. Not a lot of people know that you can, you can go up there um, without a reservation because you do have to take a elevator from um, the lower floor of the contemporary to get up there um, so just, just go up to the cast members and say hey I just want to go up to the lounge and you can go on up without a reservation it's a very cool little little tip and finally I want to talk about Olivia's Olivia's is an old Key West resort which is an all Disney Vacation Club resort although you can stay there if you're not Disney Vacation Club members and this one is very very much under the radar it's very good food comfort food lots of great cast members a lot of people don't head over there because it's hard to get there again you have to take a bus from a park um, to get there so it may take a little extra investment on your on your part but Olivia's has a great breakfast um, great dinner good menus and everybody who eats there really enjoys it so it's definitely worth it and if you go I do highly recommend the key lime tart because that thing is crazy be good so for sure grab that key lime tart okay so those are a few of our favorite hidden gems hidden spots in the Disney World resorts now you notice none of these are in parks they're just in the resorts and um, a lot of people aren't aware that even if you're not staying at a particular resort you can still eat there so don't worry about that uh, nobody's gonna turn you away you can definitely still eat there so look up these restaurants see if you can grab a reservation or some of these lounges just head over there some evening um, I think you'll really enjoy them and be sure to let us know in the comments what your favorite Favorite hidden gems and hidden spots are in Walt Disney World and if you've tried any of these places we'd love to hear from you let us know the things you really really enjoyed at these locations this is AJ for Disney food blog see you real soon